Following the debut of British tanks on the Western Front in September 1916, the German War Ministry established a committee under its General War Department Section 7 Transportation to explore tank development. In response to Allied tank successes, Germany developed the A7V, incorporating Caterpillar tracks like those on American Holt tractors. Weighing approximately 33 tons, this A7V equipped with a 57mm Maxim Nordenfeldt gun and six of their 7.92mm MG06 machine guns demonstrated the experimental nature of early armored vehicles. Limited mobility and complex crew dynamics, which involved the crew of 18 to operate, indicated that tank development was still in its infancy for this era. The interwar period saw significant advances in tank technology, resulting in a series of unforgettable tanks. Working in secret because of the sanctions imposed by the Treaty of Versailles, German forces developed a new way of warfare. That way of warfare required fast-moving and devastatingly powerful machines. Its name is short for Panzerkampfwagen I abbreviated as PZK PFW-1 or Panzer I as we know it. The Panzer I was introduced in the early 1930s, weighing 5.4 tons, armed with two 7.92mm MG-13 machine guns and used for reconnaissance and training. Panzer II was an improved version, equipped with a 20mm KWK, which means Kampfwagen Cannon or in German, Fighting Vehicle Cannon. The designation was given to any type of tank gun mounted in an armored fighting vehicle or infantry fighting vehicle of the German Wehrmacht until 1945, equipped with 30 L55 cannons and their 7.92mm MG34 machine gun. The Panzer III weighed approximately 22.3 to 23 tons, and early models were equipped with a 37mm KWK 36L45 gun which was later upgraded to a 50mm KWK 38L42 gun. It became the mainstay of German armored divisions and served as an effective anti-tank platform at the beginning of World War II. The armor ranged from 30mm to 50mm and provided adequate protection, but advances in Allied tank design required further development. At a weight of 25 tons, the Panzer IV was initially equipped with a 75mm KWK 37L24 gun, which was later replaced with a longer 75mm KWK 40L48 gun. Both tanks featured a distinctive German tank design and contributed significantly to early victories in World War II. The Panzer IV had a versatile design, fulfilling a variety of roles, including direct infantry support and anti-tank warfare, demonstrating Germany's adaptive approach to tank warfare. Introduced during World War II, the Tiger I tank is known for its impressive presence on the battlefield. It has a weight of 57 tons. It was heavily armored and equipped with its impressive 88mm KWK 36 L56 main gun, which was able to penetrate thick enemy armor from considerable distances. The Tiger I was known for its superior firepower and rugged armor, giving it a significant advantage in tank-to-tank -tank combat. Despite its impressive capabilities, production problems and resource requirements limited the number of Tiger I tanks in service, but it has gone down in military history as one of the most feared tanks of its time. The Panther was a turning point in German tank production. It was equipped with a powerful 75mm KWK 42L70 gun had advanced armor and a powerful 700 horsepower engine at the weight of approximately 45 tons. The Panther's armor thickness ranged from 40 millimeters to 100 millimeters, demonstrating its excellent defensive capabilities. The sloped armor design not only increased protection, but also influenced future tank designs around the world, as we will witness later on. We believe you like our content so far. Tell us in the comment section what you think, and don't forget to like and subscribe. In the post-World War II era, Germany continued its commitment to innovation with the Leopard series. The design started as a collaborative project during the 1950s between West Germany and France, and later joined by Italy. 
but the partnership ended shortly after, and the final design was ordered by the Bundeswehr with full-scale production starting in 1965. It weighed around 40 tons and was equipped with a 105mm L7 gun for increased firepower. An advanced suspension system and design contributed to its excellent maneuverability, making it the mainstay of armored forces in NATO countries. The Leopard II further cemented Germany's reputation as a superior tank. Weighing in at 62 tons, it had advanced composite armor and was armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun. Its modular design allows for easy upgrades, allowing the Leopard II to remain at the forefront of tank technology for decades. The Leopard project started in November 1956 in order to develop a modern tank, the standard Panzer, to replace the Bundeswehr's American-built M47 and M48 Patton tanks, which, though just delivered to West Germany's recently reconstituted army, were rapidly becoming outdated. The pinnacle of German tank design presented to us is Leopard 2A7+. With continuous improvements over previous generations, the Leopard 2A7 Plus continues Germany's commitment to maintaining a state-of-the-art armored force. The Leopard 2A7 Plus is an advanced third-generation tank and has been tested by the Bundeswehr under the name Urbop or Urban Operation. It is designed to operate both in low-intensity and high-intensity conflicts. The tank's protection has been increased by modular armor. The front protection has been improved with a dual kit on the turret and hull front, while 360 degrees protection against RPGs and mine protection increases the survivability of the tank in urban operations. The modular armor system components were first used by Canada in Afghanistan. It can fire programmable high-explosive munitions. The turret-mounted MG3 has been replaced with a stabilized FLW remote weapon station. Mobility, sustainability, and situational awareness have also been improved. It features the latest composite in modular armor, providing protection against a variety of threats on the modern battlefield at around 62 tons. The Panther KF-51 is a cutting-edge German tank weighing approximately 55 tons. Featuring modular composite armor for exceptional protection, it incorporates the latest active protection systems to enhance battlefield survivability. The tank is armed with a 120mm smoothbore cannon and advanced fire control for precise targeting with various ammunition options. Its high maneuverability is supported by a powerful engine and advanced suspension system, enabling it to navigate diverse terrains effortlessly. Digital communication and command systems enhance its networked operations capabilities. The Panther KF-51 boasts three layers of protection, including passive, reactive, and active defenses, utilizing Rheinmetall's Active Defense System, or ADS. With the ability to mount ADS on both the hull and turret, the Panther KF-51 exemplifies Germany's ongoing commitment to technical excellence in armored warfare showcased alongside the modern Leopard 2A7+. From the experimental A7V to the legendary Tiger I and Panther to the modern Leopard 2A7 Plus and Panther KF-51, every tank in Germany's arsenal contributes to the country's rich tradition of innovation and adaptation on the battlefield. It shows a continued commitment to the development and keeping of the given status. Considered the epitome of modern German tank design, the Leopard 2A7 Plus and Panther KF-51 not only reflect historical achievements, but also set the standard for future armored warfare. This continued development is a testament to Germany's unwavering commitment to maintaining a state-of-the-art armored force and ensuring that tanks remain at the forefront of military technology worldwide.